Okay, my friend. Thank you. Alrighty then. We have arrived here in the capital of Sri Lanka, Colombo, no less. Now, for those of you who are fans of the other type of Colombo, let me indulge you in the mystery surrounding my sudden departure from India. I had expected to be spending another three weeks traveling through the south, but faced with the prospect of yet more cancellations in terms of train tickets, the pollution, the dirt, all of the hassle, the scamming, everything else. The prospect of hopping on just a one hour flight this morning for this. Well, you can see, seems to be a much better idea. Look at all those kites, how beautiful. This is like a postcard in comparison to the chaos that I've left behind in Chennai. And India overall, my goodness, did I have enough of the place. But let's not allow that to tarnish the experience here today. From this point on, I'm beginning my adventures here in Sri Lanka, a country that I've wanted to come to for so long. And hence, when it was so close, it seemed like the obvious choice leaving behind India. Now, the plan for today having just arrived, is to really take in the sights and get a feel for the place. Given my sudden departure, I hadn't actually done any planning. I just took the next available flight. So, with the sun setting in the next hour or so, I thought we could come down, get a feel for the vibe, enjoy some of the sights before then heading back up the road to the famous temple. Now, you might well ask yourself, James, you've just arrived in the capital of Sri Lanka. Look at the beach, the beauty, the kites, everything that's going on. Why do you want to go and stand at a temple? Well, there's very good reason. Just as I was leaving the hostel to take this walk out, the very friendly lady behind the counter just happened to tell me that I've walked into the second of a two-day national celebration here for the Buddhists. And apparently 80% of Sri Lanka's population is singular, essentially a take on Buddhism as I understand it. So unlike the intensity of India when it comes to religion. It's nice to be in different surroundings, not only in terms of the beauty and the scenery, but also in terms of the spirit and the culture of the place, which is what I'm so keen to get a feel for. Hey boys. Hi. Have you, you working in military? You're very smart. Oh, very smart guys. Take care. So, first encounters with the local people. Let's take a look at what we've got down here. You're selling, is this sweet coconut? Okay. You Could I, that? yes please. Could I have one sweet coconut? Thank you. Hmm. All right. Coconut skewered, lady paid. Hello boss. Let's have a little stroll up the beach and enjoy the stream. Hello sir, how are you? You're good? England. You're from Colombo? No, sir, wrong way. Come sit Sure, thank you. All right, how friendly is that? Would you like a drink? Would you like a drink? I will buy you a drink. Speak, oh. sir, I speak only. Okay, thank you. What how, is... long, how long is Sri Lanka, sir? Uh, <laughs> I've just arrived. Nice to meet you. What is your name? My name is Anthony Sylvester. Anthony Sylvester? I'm Catholic, sir. Catholic. Catholic. Oh. God, nice to meet you, you have God the tattoo. You. God bless you, England, lot of people in England, uh, all Christian, Catholic. Yes, people. indeed. 
Margaret Thatcher, Queen Elizabeth died. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't mention Thatcher, but yeah. <laughs> you came to this, huh? Yes, I've just arrived. I see. So I've just come down to the beach it's for a drink, coconut. Drink in it. I see. Mm. How long travel there? I've been traveling the world for many months. Many months. Many months. Sri but Lanka. Sri Lanka, maybe three, four weeks, but I've just arrived today. Ah, today. Just now, yeah. Stay what here? Yes, nearby here. I've just walked out near the temple. Temple. Uh, and I saw that they are uh, celebrating tonight. Ah, uh, uh, celebrating. Yeah, uh, having a party. Uh, party. I'm How? A, I must stay long way, sir. I'm a, uh, close to Ratnapur area, James area. Oh, I see. My identity, my name, my 73 years, my age. Wow. I'm born in 1950. 73. I, are you just visiting here or no, are you no. worshipping here? It's, uh, I'm a seriously, don't mistake them and God bless you. I'm yeah. a big slab, fall down, three platform, my security before security. Guard, security? Security yeah, service. Yeah. My leg is free. Oh, <laughs> I see, I see. So you've had to. You've had to go to get all of this medication. Hospital. You need medicine? No, hospital. Hospital. Oh, okay. Hospital. That's hard to see. The the guy's had a fall and busted his leg. You read English, no? Yes, I'm English. So these are your prescriptions? Yeah. These are the, the orders, the papers? The papers, sir. Yeah, so you, you can see there's about three different prescriptions no, here. No. and Okay, I'm, I'm not a doctor, but uh, you can see how yeah oh wow so there's a long list for oh wow uh amongst knee and back pain there's also some more intimate things constipation that's not good <laughs> but yeah well wow so you are you are taking a lot of medicine at the moment medicine i i don't have any income sir i i god bless you god bless you if you like uh, i don't disturb you sir i'm also church i went to church today. okay okay father give to small amount Country? Okay, um, I am I am traveling at the moment, but I must uh, I must take a walk around and experience some of the place. Ah, yes, it's a yes. pleasure talking to you, but uh, yes. yeah, like God bless you and good uh, luck with everything. Yeah. All right, guys, just come up to the viewpoint and uh, look who's behind me. It's an our friend trying to hustle some other unsuspecting victims. He used the same routine on me 10 minutes ago. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh. Hey, guys. Nas Daily? Yes. Is that you? Yes. Oh no. My, God. my brother's a huge fan. He's a oh, huge no. fan. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. God. Kurt Kaz, that's me. It's really nice, nice meeting you. Oh, so nice. What are your names? Uh, I'm Nanade. I'm, I'm Azra. Azra. Oh, I love your shades. Oh, thank, thank you. you. They're way more stylish than mine. But oh. I have to make do, I suppose. Okay. Are you guys from Colombo? Yes, yes, we are. Yes. It seems like such a beautiful place. This is literally the yeah. first hour that I've been here. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm going to be here for like a month, I hope. I heard that. I heard that. Yeah, so yeah. Sri Lanka so far. Oh, amazing. This first hour has been absolutely divine. I have absolutely no idea who I've been mistaken for there. I do seem to get Kurt Kaz quite often. And yeah, if my channel gets anywhere near as big as his, I'll be a happy man. It's, uh, yeah, he's a good laugh. Anyways, let's see if we can jump at a rickshaw now without getting scammed and facing all the usual BS. And head on down to find some food, a proper meal. Before then, getting to the celebrations outside the temple. Hello. Sir, how are you? Okay. Hey brother, can you take me to Nellum Coal restaurant? What? Nellum Coal restaurant is good. How much do you think? On meter, how much how much do you think? Roughly? How much? 300, yeah, let's go. Doesn't really strike me as the kind of place that, uh, yeah, they would have this top-rate restaurant in town. Then again, we've got the Sheraton on the other side. Next time, come on. Okay, okay. All right. Supposedly, it's down here somewhere. I can see a barber. 
I've actually just had a fade though, as you can see, so I'm not in need of a cut, but let's see if we can figure it out. I don't know. This really isn't the part of town that, uh, yeah, I would have imagined there to be a recommended restaurant. I think this is it. Jeez, you can see all of the sawdust or whatever on there and an empty bottle of liquor or something all across the tills. It doesn't look to have been open for a long time. Surely it can't be here. I don't know. I think we're going to have to go with a backup plan. We best try and make our way back up towards where the temple is and see if we can get some food around there. So it's not going to be too long now before the uh, festivities there start. Hello, how are you? We are here. This is the famous Rahima restaurant beneath the sign which says Rahima Hotel. Hello, sir. And this is apparently regarded as one of the best places in town to try Sri Lankan food. And as this is my first day, it's got to be done, surely. Just take a look at some of the sweets here. They look absolutely incredible. I'll be sure to get some of those on the way back. All sorts of things, including some chocolatey looking ones, which I've missed whilst in India. And just take a look here at presumably uh, egg parata, I think. Different kind of rotis, samosas. I'm not sure what the name of that is. In Brazil, I think it's farofa. Hello, sir. May I take a seat for one, please? Thank you. All right, so as you can see, it's kind of cafe style. And I guess we can just walk up and take this here. So we have like an onion relish, it looks like. Yeah, onions. Yeah, onions. yeah, and then is this dried or fish? Or is it from fish? It's like dried yeah, fish. fish. Yeah, okay. Bang on the money. This is also good. Morbi Morbi Yeah, so also dried fish. And then we've got samosas, egg parata. Egg parata and pain parata. I guess when you walk in, they just uh, bring food up to you. This is amazing. Check it out. What a spread. <laughs> How cool is this? So, why don't we start? by making some room. I'll put the condiments to one side. And let's get stuck into one of the samosas. These look so good there. Not too hot, still slightly warm, but ready to eat straight away. They're a little bit spicy. The spice is creeping up. But there's definitely a tanginess to them. That's really interesting. I think it could be a similar flavor to these onions. Let's give them a try. In Europe, you might have like red onion and balsamic vinegar, slightly like tart or vinegary taste. I think this must be an accompaniment for the parata. Yeah, Dal. Excellent. Okay. This is This is mint. I think the dal is a little bit different to what I've been eating in India. This seems to be more dense with the uh, the lentils. I'm not sure I really want to try the uh, the dried fish seasoning. I'm not sure about that, but. We can definitely try some of the mint and as we've got a biryani looking me in the face, let's try some of this. It's a very different kind of flavour to an Indian biryani. I can taste I think some cinnamon bark in there and it has a few different things that I don't recognise. Maybe some fennel uh, seeds or something like that. You can just see perhaps. So it gives it this almost like aniseedy flavour, slightly different to uh, what you'd expect usually. Mm. I'm curious to know what uh, the mint tastes like though. I'm not sure what I'm meant to be eating this with. Mm. But that, surprisingly, I think it's the hottest thing on here. Wow. Ooh. Okay, that is powerful. I like it. I'm making progress, but my goodness, I'm getting full. There's an awful lot of food here, and I would like to leave space for one faluda. We will do a faluda, okay. yeah. You can see it's like a mix of milk, and then you've got some syrup at the bottom. And on top, you've got an ice cream float. That lovely ball of vanilla ice cream with some bits of like, I think dried candy or something on top. Oh, that is good, my friend, yes. Who could argue with what is ult the ultimate South Asian milkshake? I want to try and get some of the fruity syrup at the bottom. I suppose it's a bit like a Knickerbocker glory. Mm. Mm. I'm nicking the ice cream. Oh, it's so nice. This is where the action is. Now, 
The jalebi I know from India. I've had this a few times. In fact, in the food, street food hunt, the last video that I made there, pretty much. Oh, this one is good. It's the sweetest thing, even the sweetest dessert. I think that I've had anywhere in the world. It always is. It is like sugar on sugar on sugar. And I don't know how it gets the orange colour, but my goodness is it sweet. Mmm. I thought it was dripping. You can see it glistening as you bite into it. I've never seen crystallised sugar basically turn into juicy liquid when you bite into it. Juicy liquid just being more sugar. Mm. Okay. That is a one-way ticket to diabetes, as I think the polluter is. Anyway. Let's take a look at the array here. So we've got this milky one, which usually is one of my favorites. You can see it's got some of the like candied peel, I think you might call it in there. Like tutti frutti is the Italian to to say. Mmm. Oh yeah. The texture is really quite chewy. When you get into it, it's so dense with I guess condensed milk. Which I think is how they make it. And then you can see the little pieces of candied peel or that tutti frutti mixture. Wow. That is really good. So this you see everywhere. And there you go. Is this um is it like compressed almonds? Is this laddu? Is it almonds? Like nuts based? No no, no? inside uh, the milk, no? Milk also. It's milk, milk and yeah. Sugar and uh, cherries. And cherries, milk, sugar yeah. and cherries. Okay, thank you. And cherries also. Okay. And whatever the carbohydrate is to Jesus, surely this can't just be milk. It's mixed with something, it must be nuts or it's not flour, but. Mm. Oh, I have saved the best until last. This was the one I saw on the way in. <laughs> oh, yes. We can see we've got a little hazelnut on top from lots of things. It looks like chocolate brownie, but this is a Sri Lankan chocolate brownie. Oh man, it smells so rich and cocoa-y. Oh. That is the best brownie I've ever tasted. It is so dense with cocoa. I don't recall many chocolatey things from my time in India. It was mainly these kind of like milky sweets and maybe coloured with saffron, sometimes some different flavours like cardamom or whatever. But that is like a big dense block of pure chocolate and it's not too sweet. Mm. That is the ultimate brownie. Sri Lankan chocolate brownie, definitely my favourite on the plate. Followed closely behind by the milky one. One more bite. Mm. This is a winner. And they've even brought me a little parcel so I can take them back with me. Amazing. Do I have more room for Faluda? Let's find out. I'm sure we'll find it. I've even been sent home with an extra piece of my favourite brownie. You guys couldn't have been kinder and honestly the setting, the service. Thank you so much. Okay, I've really enjoyed that. Thank you, so, time for the damage. What do I owe, my friend? Thank you. How much do I owe you? Oh, okay. okay. Two, five, okay. sixty. Yeah. Okay. Thank awesome. you very much. Um, okay. So I need to pay cash. I'll just get some change, and then I've got a bike coming because the reason it's suddenly emptied out isn't because of the food, which is absolutely incredible. But it's nearly seven p.m. And that's the time that the uh, ceremony is starting just up the road and everybody's waiting for it. So let me quickly pay, we'll get on the rickshaw and make our way up with a belly full of the finest food here in Colombo. I'm having a baby. And a baby. Eight months pregnant. Yes. <laughs> we'll get up to the temple. Let's go. Yes, sir. 
silence kind of descended so I don't want to be shouting in case it's disrespectful but to me this is quite a bizarre start to the ceremony it says whip crackers Indeed, the guy next to me is quite startled okay so we figured out what the, the dried coconuts are for they're using them as lanterns to light the streets just as the bull whips go again whoa whoa he is deafening Only the elephants in, but also the guy riding there. So on a really cool. It had a sign said as a Devo dance. I don't know if that's literally like devil. I don't quite think so. But maybe I don't know. Maybe it's like the, the Joker or Entertainer. I thought at first I had like elephant trunks for a distance, but it's like a semicircle on the front of the on the front of the hat and the ears in fact. It's really unusual and everybody here has been barefooted, I noticed. On the road. Hopefully the elephant hasn't dropped one further up there. That'd be a mess. is going to go on well into the early hours what a first day it has been here in Sri Lanka so there's a slip past the fire and the procession I'm going to sign off get some rest see you all in the next video Bye -bye. Thank you.